Well, we want to do a little thing on how you generate creatures. Creatures are really fast, and they allow uh, the Game Master to have a lot of flexibility in what he wants to do. To give you some basic guidelines, um, you know, like level one are essentially like nuisance creatures. So I thought I'd generate up and show you some of that, because nuisance creatures, even though they're nuisance, can actually be quite uh, deadly. These are just basically large rats. They're level one, they have one hit point, they have a bite damage of two, they have no armor class, and they have a vulnerability of fear of fire. Basically means that if you're fighting a bunch of nuisance rats, it doesn't really matter how many they are. They're really pretty much not going to run until they've been beat up pretty badly. And then at that some point, you get bored or you just decide you don't want to run them anymore, and they run away, and that's usually convenient for the players. Um, we're going to show you a little battle on, on, like against our little warrior. A little tool I use... Um, to kind of determine the size of creatures is look at when you have a party what their total hit points are. And if once you know what their total base hit points are, you can kind of figure out that's kind of what you want for the, the bad guys. And, you know, one big creature could have a lot of hit points. You can modify accordingly, but you'll get the feel of that. And many of you might already have, have acquired that. Um, because really, there never is a relationship. Uh, I know a lot of the DM, DMGs from different games always try to relate level and characters with monsters. And, and I found that they, they totally fail. I mean, you know, they've done it. Sometimes it's better than others. But for the most part, it's really going to be based to a situation like that. So I'm going to generate a situation here where our little first level fighter who has, you know, a, a considerable amount of hits accordingly is going to fight like six of these little rats. And we'll show you how that goes. But the other thing I wanted to just quick show you is our little swamp monster here. Now, I got this up here, Steve Kish figure, painted many years ago. Still can't see it. There you go. And really love this thing. It's a Ulag or Uliak or whatever from D&D. And it was a beautiful mini. I really, really liked it. I have another one unpainted, but since I can't really quite paint as well as Steve. I'm always waiting to decide that someday to be motivated and, and get it done. But let's look at that as like a sixth level creature. So we would go, you know, swamp beast. So we're going to make him level six. He has hit points of 36, which is his level times his level. His bite is two times his level, which is a 12-point bite. Now, you can give him other things, and this is where the game, his armor class, AC, oops. Not. We can modify. So we can look at him and say, okay, he has damage resistance. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, we're going to make it four points. So he's got a four-point armor class, which means he's really kind of tough to hit. He doesn't have damage reduction. A lot of times when you get into monsters like dragons and stuff, you might start giving them damage reduction, which means that they just ignore a certain amount of damage that gets through their armor. So you might have a dragon, might have eight points of armor, and then ignore half the damage that goes through. So it's, those can be really tough. Or gargoyles that have just extraordinary armor. It's really up to you and your group and how you're, you're basically looking at it. Um, there are, he has no vulnerabilities in this case, uh, would be kind of the same as that. He has, uh, let's assume he does one and a half damage taken from fire, if not, you know, if not in water, because it's a water creature. They maybe can figure that out. Now, if they have flaming weapons or something, they can do a little more damage. Then you have a situation where they have special attack. So they could bite if they're adjacent, but they also have a three space reach with two tentacles. And those would do less damage. So you'll say, okay, instead of 12, we drop it down to, let's say 10. I'm sorry, you know, I mean, the bite is doing, uh, yeah, full yeah, bite. Yeah. Let's say eight. So they have two attacks that you'd like to defend. This allows them to attack multiple opponents. Eight, eight point attack. They also can water breathe. And who knows what else. You could actually give them other things you might do and things that they not necessarily need to do. But for the sake of argument, we're going to just do that. This is a pretty good creature. Now, again, I would look at it saying if there's 36 points, I'd look at a party. 
there better be at least three first-level guys before you would even consider sort of throwing that at a party. And even then, he's likely to trash them because he is that much nastier than they are. So you don't want to go crazy and, and use the guidelines of levels to sort of be reasonable. But um, just the thing is, you'd never really have one of the more than one or two of these, even if they had a pretty high-level party. And that sort of just, a, it's not a fast and hard rule, but there's things you're going to learn is when you look at stuff, kind of figure it out. Now, XP, as you'll see when you look at the game, is five points if the creatures are less challenging than the, than the, the party. Or, then your 10 points is if it's equal. And 15 points if they're, if they're obviously challenging. really challenging. So again, this thing against maybe two or three people would be a real huge challenge for them. So they might, if they defeat it. I always have a, like an, an extra five points if there's like ox, extra role playing or something special or they do something, you know, really good in the, in the plane of the game. But that's really how fast monsters go. And I basically just made that up out of my head. It doesn't necessarily mean you would generate one that does that. We'll likely do a bestiary. We'll start to show that to you as well. But in the meantime, why don't we just give you a quick little battle on this? So I'm going to go ahead and post this up so you get the idea and can take a look at this. And then we're going to run a little small fight with like six racks against our one little dude and see if he can survive against just six old gutter rats in a battle. And you can sort of see how the combat flows. <laughs> 